Good morning, y'all. I'm Chris and aboard here on Bolt Fanatics. Today is one of the biggest days on Smith Mountain Lake. If you can't tell, I am super stoked. I've been waiting on this day for a whole year. Today is Citation Striper Day. March 8th for the last three years, I have caught a citation size striper, which means he's either 37 inches or 20 pounds. And I've caught him in the same stretch of water. So what I'm here to do is determine if it's a coincidence or if there is truly a pattern. So I wanna see if there's, for the fourth year, can we catch another citation size striper? It's supposed to snow a few inches today. So we'll be out here trekking it out, trying to stay warm. Y'all stay with us, we'll show you what we got. All right, y'all, so the type of fishing that we're gonna do today, we're gonna be trolling for these stripers. What I'm using is a seven octopus hook. We're using gizzard shad. They're about eight inches long. So what you wanna do, you wanna hook them in the mouth and out the nose. And this right here is what you call a stinger line. So if they short strike it, you'll still get them. You put that right at the beginning of their bottom fin there. You put out the amount of line that you want. If I want him to be able to swim down about 15 feet, then I give him 15 foot of line. Now we're gonna grab our planer board. The original clear boards, these guys right here, are amazing. They're lightweight, easy to clip. What you do, you just open this clip right here. You put the line inside of that clip. You clip it right here. And now what this does is cruises away from the boat. So it allows you to troll wide. So I can end up trolling 50 yards wide if I want to. So when a fish bites it, with the tension from it being right here on the fishing pole and the tension from the fish that strikes it, it will come out of this yellow clip and this will slide all the way down to the leader. It's just like a water skier. The more line I let out, the farther it goes and the wider I'm gonna be fishing. Something's after Something's definitely, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh my gosh! I got, I got excited. We got a fish on right here, y'all. All right. Beautiful morning, about 30 minutes into trolling. I missed him the first go round. Real good fight. Coming in slow. I don't think he's the big one I'm looking for, but I'll take him. Here it is snowing again. There we go, what a healthy fish. Thirty-two and a half. That stinger hook did the job. That's what it's all about right there. Getting the old blood flowing while it's snowing. Now let's see if we can get a little bigger. Let's go get his grandpa. At least it's not sticking. Man, we got one that's running with it. Ugh. This guy has swam all the way from the other side of the boat. He's trying to swim in front of the boat. Man, I needed this fight. I was getting a little cold. There he is. That's a good size striper. Good size striper. In the net. 
Okay. Oh yeah. That's a good striper right there, baby. I don't know, he's borderline. Oh man, off the old clear board. That's what I'm talking about. These things run stealth mode. Another nice fish right there, y'all. Look at that jewel. Healthy, fat, 14 and a half pounder. Out here in the snow, and baby's right there. All right. What a pretty fish. There he goes. Off to fight another day. All right, y'all, so we wrapped up the day catching a really nice 12 and 14 pounder in the same area that we have caught citations in the last three years. Yeah, it wasn't the citation I was really looking for, but he had potential and maybe he was hanging with the big dogs. He just got to the bait faster than the other ones. I'm not going to let this turn me down on coming back next year. I will be back here March 8th. 2020. So the bottom line is for today, the best thing you can take home with you is keep a journal, keep a log, write down the fish that you catch, where you caught them, that time of year, and then that way you can go back and try and hit those spots again. Try and find a pattern because that's what I've done. And if I haven't done that, I would never have known about this spot. Hey, maybe it's just not the right day. Maybe the snow is what's causing it, why we didn't catch them. I don't know, but hey, I'm just happy that we caught a fish today and we're gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna trek on back and take me a nice hot shower. But I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all stay tuned. Next week, we've got a Striper Mafia tournament. For more action, we got it coming to you next week.